While it should come as no surprise that Days of Our Lives remains in last place in my soap opera rankings for May 2022, that's because it has been in last place this entire year of 2022 so far, and I'm pretty sure it was even in last place back in December, so we're going six months straight of Days of Our Lives being at the bottom of my soap opera rankings. Now, there was some positive news coming out of May that the fucking possession story is finally ending while well, it already came to an end in may thankfully this the, the possession story overall was a terrible can we just finally put it to rest how terrible the story was there was no rhyme or reason this entire time in in um usual ron carlavati fashion he comes up with beginning of stories and sometimes end of stories, but then the entire middle is a clusterfuck, and that is what we got out of the possession. I feel like he he started good with the possession when he had the idea. He always, well not always, but he sometimes has a good idea to how to start a story. And starting it with Doug worked because it was a good twist. And I, I feel like he had at least the foresight to set up the Ben and Sierra baby thing to have Bo return as like the 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 angel, I guess, in this story. Because Isabella, Bo's sister, was the the angel in the original possession story back in the nineties. So that worked, but yeah, the entire middle didn't work. And like I've been saying for months now, the possession story was not the only bad story on days. Every single story has been written poorly to say the least so on one hand it is great that the possession story has finally come to an end however a lot of damage has already been done and um now we got to get back on that road of how does days fix all the damage that it did to its show with all this bad writing as of late i really feel like it's still going to be a very long summer with days because I just don't think they have... None of the current stories are good. In my opinion, anyway, none of the current stories are good. The only one that didn't completely ruin people, I guess, is like the the Lonnie and Paulina story. And uh, now Paulina's taking the blame for T.R. Coates's death even though it was really Lonnie that shot him because there was a whole thing where Lonnie found Abe unconscious and ended up having to shoot T.R. Coates her father dead and now Paulina is taking the blame but outside of that and even that story I, I've talked about it the past couple months how they they rushed it and didn't do a very good job telling that story either in my opinion but it didn't ruin any characters there because i think that was the only story based in some kind of realism at least and i think that is what helped that story kind of stand out amongst all the the crazy over-the-top nonsense going on i also still have to talk about even though this ended early in may and you know some might say you know at least days had a may sweeps and like climaxed a lot of their stories but if all the stories suck, does it really matter? To me, it doesn't because I've found this show so unwatchable for months now. And their their ability to ruin characters as of late is a really bad trait to have because they, they brought back Craig and Nancy for this story where Craig realizes he's gay when he should have been bi in the first place. At least that would have made the story more character-based for the Craig and Nancy relationship. But they brought back this just to make Craig look really dumb and really terrible to Nancy. They split up Craig and Nancy, who actually had like a cult following as a couple, and destroyed it for a really terrible story because Carlovati can't write anything serious. It all has to be a joke, done for a laugh, and he failed completely. So all this story comes just for Craig to leave town looking like a fool that was the story they decided to tell for craig and nancy and craig's coming out story awful shit awful shit and that's the kind of shit that keeps days in last place in my rankings and it's the kind of shit that makes me think ron needs to go ron needs to be off the show ron's writing is 
bad right now. He's He always gets to this point on every single show where he completely runs out of ideas. He burns himself out and everything is comes completely over the top. A lot of the shit doesn't even matter on the show. This is a track record of him. Happened on One Life to Live, happened on General Hospital, and it's now happening on Days of Our Lives. And so this is where I am with Days. Like, they have Bal and Sean looking really stupid with this Jan story, and this story in the first place was really stupid because this was part of the possession storyline. And yeah, we might get a Bal and EJ affair from this, which could be good, but I still feel like they're making Sean and Bell look dumb, and Sean's looking weak when it comes to Jen. Don't like the writing for that story. I still think Nicole and Rafe, a yawn-worthy couple, terrible television. The the Sarah story, Sarah became like the, her being a kid, regressing into a kid. I think that was done for a laugh by Ron and Jamie Giddens, and it was done poorly, and it wasn't good television like the rest of the show. And even the the one thing that was really working for me, which was kind of like the, the thruple or quadruple with Johnny and uh, Chanel and Allie and Tripp, they, because of the possession, they had to rush through those dynamics way too fast. So they even hurt the dynamics with that storyline with their shitty ass writing. I can't even look forward to that right now because I feel like those dynamics need to be, be built back up. And I don't have any faith in Ron to be able to build that back up to where he had that pre-possession. Unfortunately, I like the potential that that all had, but they squandered a lot of it because of the stupid possession. And that brings us back to the possession. So they end it with basically the, the devil went from Johnny to Allie and Allie finally gets her hands on or the devil finally gets her hands on Ben and Sierra's baby. Uh, but uh, then Sierra has powers thanks to Bo and is able to get rid of the Satan and Allie, but then jumps to Trip, and then Trip decides to kill himself to finally get rid of the devil. But then Bo, Angel Bo, or whatever we're calling Bo, Ghost Bo, Angel Bo, brings um, Trip back to life. <sighs> I love Bo. Bo is one of my favorite characters. I've mentioned this before. So this worked in some respect. I didn't like that Bo comes along to prop Ben. Like, the propping of Ben, who was a serial killer, to try and make the couple of Ben and Sierra work is nauseating. And it's, it's why this shit doesn't work. I don't know why soap operas have done this over the past 20 years. Maybe it's even been happening beyond that on some of them. But they, if they really want to make a, cup, a, a person work, a character work, they have to make all these characters... Prop, the, prop that character up, talking about how great the person is, or... Yeah, just how great the person is. Or sometimes they sacrifice characters to try and make that person look better. Ben is becoming that character. It's similar to what they did with Daniel Jonas. They were always propping that character up, even though all that character did was suck the life out of other characters on the show. And we're still getting that after effect with Nicole. Daniel Jonas ruined the Nicole character long ago. And now that character has become pointless on the show the character of nicole is pointless on day she's stuck in a boring relationship with rafe but daniel jonas is the character that got that ball rolling and now they do similar shit with ben all the time all these characters always having to prop him up like he's just so great when they they wrote themselves in a corner long ago with ben and the show found chemistry between Ben and Sierra. I don't hate Ben and Sierra as a couple. I do think they have chemistry. But unfortunately, the character of Ben has been written so poorly and written into a corner as a serial killer that his redemption has been hard to swallow for a lot of us. And it hurts that couple as well. And so that's just where I feel like we are with Days of Our Lives. They've heard a lot of characters over the years. They've heard a lot of characters in recent months with their terrible writing. They're going to further destroy Lucas soon when we return to the Lucas and Sammy story. And I'm not looking forward to that. So yeah, this show just has a lot of problems still. Uh, a lot of damage has been done to characters on the show now. And just the, the writing in general is damaged. And it has a long way to go to fight itself out of this. Now, I do think that it's possible that Days gets 
little higher in my rankings because some of the other American soap operas have been terrible as of late. And so if those continue to be terrible, at least Days might finally have a chance in the coming months to get out of last place in my rankings. I hope they do. As I've stated several times, Days is probably my favorite soap opera of all time. But the current form is rough. My favorite scene with the possession and Bo it was a few seconds is when Steve and Bo saw each other. Steve kind of saw Bo's spirit there saving Trip's life. Those two characters have so much history and that's why moments like that work. Whereas to me, the Bo with his daughter and Ben, those scenes fell flat to me. But yeah, I don't see a lot of potential in any stories right now because none of them have been good for so long now. I'm hoping that changes, but we shall see. I do like how there's so many Demiras and the, the dynamics between the Demiras. We saw Kristen make the Demira meeting kind of chaotic. They need to bring back Peter. That would be nice. They won't bring back the original Peter because Melissa Reeves. But they should recast the character maybe. Because I do like that there's so many Demiras and the dynamics between them. You know, a villainous family makes for drama sometimes but the other families need work they've this show has ruined the hortons for so long now that uh, i don't even know if they can fix the hortons so they might have to focus on fixing the brady's but yeah overall um glad the possession story is over but the stories still suck and need to work themselves out of this i think that the the new peacock show is in june for days beyond salem and I will be attaching that to the June month for days. So maybe that can help rise days' rankings for me. But I don't like that it seems Bo might be a spirit in that too. That makes me look forward to it less. But the first Beyond Salem was good. So hopefully this one is too. That's all for now. Days still in last place in my rankings. It's been a rough year. Four days so far for me. It's been my worst soap opera by far this year. Um, we'll see if it goes six, well, it would be seventh month straight in June, but we'll see if it starts the first six months of 2022 in last place, or if it could finally get out of last place in my rankings in June.